Hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update. Today, we have some exciting news to share with you regarding the Iraqi Dinar and the ongoing efforts to de-dollarize the Iraqi economy. A new paper has been released by the Iraq Britain Business Council, IBBC, and it's got some fascinating insights that I can't wait to dive into. First, let's talk about the current state of the Iraqi dinar. As we all know, the dinar has been a topic of much discussion and speculation for years, with many people wondering about its potential for appreciation and the impact it could have on the Iraqi economy. Well, this new paper from the IBBC sheds some light on the current situation and the steps that need to be taken to address it. One of the key points highlighted in the paper is the need to reduce the reliance on the US dollar in the Iraqi economy. According to the IBBC, the overdependence on the dollar has led to a number of challenges, including the vulnerability of the Iraqi economy to fluctuations in the global currency markets and the difficulty in conducting international trade and transactions. To address this issue, the IBBC has outlined a number of strategies that the Iraqi government and the Central Bank of Iraq CBI, can implement. These include Diversifying the currency holdings, the paper suggests that the Iraqi government should look to diversify its currency holdings, reducing its reliance on the US dollar and exploring the use of other currencies, such as the euro or the Chinese yuan for international transactions. Promoting the use of the Iraqi dinar, another key strategy is to promote the use of the Iraqi dinar within the country, encouraging businesses and individuals to use the dinar for domestic transactions and reducing the demand for the US dollar. Strengthening the banking sector, the IBBC paper also highlights the importance of strengthening the Iraqi banking sector improving its efficiency and stability, and making it more accessible to businesses and individuals. Improving trade and investment, finally, the paper emphasizes the need to improve Iraq's trade and investment relationships with other countries, particularly in the region, in order to reduce the reliance on the US dollar and strengthen the Iraqi economy. Now, as you can imagine, these are not easy tasks, and the IBBC acknowledges that there are a number of challenges and obstacles that the Iraqi government will need to overcome. However, the paper also suggests that there are significant opportunities for the country if it can successfully implement these strategies. For example, reducing the reliance on the US dollar could help to insulate the Iraqi economy from global currency fluctuations and make it more resilient to external shocks. Additionally, promoting the use of the Iraqi dinar could help to boost domestic demand and stimulate economic growth within the country. Of course, there are also potential risks and drawbacks to consider. For instance, Reducing the use of the US dollar could make it more difficult for Iraq to conduct international trade and transactions, and could potentially lead to economic disruption in the short term. Overall, though, the IBBC paper presents a compelling case for the need to de-dollarize the Iraqi economy and take steps to strengthen the Iraqi dinar. It's an issue that is sure to be closely watched by policy makers, investors, and the general public, and it will be interesting to see how the Iraqi government responds to the recommendations outlined in the paper. So, there you have it, folks. The IBBC has released a major new paper on the de-dollarization of the Iraqi economy, and it's got some really fascinating insights that I'm sure you'll all find interesting. As always, I encourage you to do your own research and form your own opinions on this important issue. And if you have any thoughts or questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for the watching my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update.